This video is a guide only. There may be specific instructions for your seat which will differ from our video guide. You must refer to your seat's instruction manual to be sure you are installing your seat in line with the manufacturer's instructions. Place the child restraint rear-facing on your vehicle seat. When rear-facing, it is important to install the seat on a recline appropriate for your child. If the seat is too upright, it can cause your child's head to fall forward, which can block their airways. Some seats will have a function that positions it at the correct recline. Check your seat's instruction manual to find this, as it is likely to differ from the seat being demonstrated. In the case of this seat, grasp the red recline lever and pull the seat forward in its shell. It also has a foot, which must be placed in its rear-facing position to achieve the correct angle. Pull the seat belt out as far as it will go. A handy tip is to fasten it with a peg to stop it retracting while installing. Making sure there are no twists in the belt, thread it through the rear-facing belt path and click it in. Now pull the top layer of the seat belt to get tension on the belt. You can put weight on the seat while doing this. You now need to attach the red locking clip which came with the seat. You will need to hold the tension on the belt while clipping the locking clip onto the top layer of belt only. Position it immediately beside the belt tongue. This stops the belt sliding through the tongue and loosening off. Now check the seat is secure. Pull side to side beside the belt path. It must move less than 2.5 centimetres. Check that the seat is installed at the correct angle. If you have held the belt with a peg, you can now remove it and let the belt fully retract. Now you'll need to attach the tether. Lengthen it off and pull it over the top of the seat into the rear of the car. Attach the hook to the anchor bolt, making sure that the hook is facing in and upwards, and then tighten the tether at the side of the seat. Don't pull too hard, just enough to take the slack out. You don't want to pull the seat forward by over-tightening it. There should be no twists in the tether, and the tensioning adjuster must not come past the seat shell. Loosen off the tether and drop it to the side of the seat. Undo the buckle and lengthen the harness. Place the harness out of the way of the child. Place the child in the seat, making sure their bottom and back are well back against the restraint. Position the harness over the shoulders and put the harness tongues into the buckle one at a time. Make sure that the harness is coming through the slot which is in line with or slightly above the child's shoulders. Check that the child's shoulders are no higher than the maximum height marker and that the crotch buckle is in the correct position for your seat. Pull the tensioning strap to tighten the harness until you can get just one finger between the child and the harness. Retension the tether strap at the side of the seat. Don't pull too hard, just enough to take the slack out. You don't want to pull the seat forward by over tightening. <laughs> 